Hello all, this is Pastor Bo, and this is Thoughts from the Pastor's Office. I try to do this daily, um, at least Tuesday through Friday. Uh, Monday and, and Saturday I'm usually not in the office. Um, first, I'm always in the office, just so you guys know. Uh, I am doing this on live, and this video can then be taken to my phone, and I'll put it on YouTube as well. Um, so it's going to be in both places. You can always view this stuff if you want to view it later, um, whatever you want to do. But just a thought. Uh, today, a, a, a thought from the Word of God, and, and it's, it's really think of things that have encouraged me lately. Um, you got to say, uh, shout out to Chandler, who very much encouraged me today, and a, a great idea, and I think, you know, it's something that we can all do, um, which is, she put this wonderful Bible verse on on Facebook today, I think it was 1 Corinthians chapter 1, uh, very encouraging, I uh, love seeing it, and uh, that's something we can do. I think it's in this time, you know, what can we do? How can we reach out to people? We're supposed to be social distance from each other. Um, we're supposed to be, what, six six feet away from each other. So how do we reach out to other people? Well, we can flood social media. We can flood um, the world with the Word of God. It's our opportunity to, to really get that out there. And encouraging things, things that we can do um, to encourage others and, and encourage others in Christ. Um my verse for today that really has helped me out is in Philippians chapter 4. Um, and beginning in verse 4, and y'all, I'm going to read this to you, so I'm going to be looking down, not looking at you. Um, but just listen to it as read. Philippians chapter 4, beginning in verse 4. And remember that when Paul writes this, he's in prison. Uh, he is in jail, and he's looking over, probably looking over a space where he very well may die soon. Um, at least that's kind of the situation he was in when he wrote it. So he wrote these words. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, Whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. He goes on to say, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content in whatever circumstances. I know what it is to be in need and also know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. This is a great thing to share with the world today. How are we content in this situation? Whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. That's his secret to contentment. That's his secret to dealing with whatever situation comes his way. I can do this through Christ. And, and just the exhortation to rejoice, rejoice in all circumstances and to keep your mind on whatever is pure, whatever is clean, whatever is righteous. Um, to read that verse again, it's verse 8. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Let's have our mind on Christ and on the Word of Christ. And if you want to, and even if you don't, do it anyway. <laughs> Put a verse onto social media somewhere, an encouraging verse to let people know that the God of this universe loves them, cares for them, is concerned for them, and he's here with us every day. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.